Welcome to part 4 of South Park The Stick of Truth. And before we approach Tweak, there are a few things we need done. First off, let's come here to the bank because this is where the last kindergartner is. And for the record, if you think you can squeeze through that area, no you can't. You'll have to go behind the desk the other way. Seriously, why is that? No way! How did you find me? But... Now we found all six kindergartners, and in order for us to get the reward, we have to Welcome be friends to the with Vegas them. South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? Wise move, young man, and a bold first step towards your financial future. We'll just take that money and employ significant leverage using computer-assisted high-frequency trading and index fund rebalancing to buy ahead of certain stock movements, and it's gone! That baker is the stuff of mames. Lots of them. Based off of that line, and it's gone! But... You will be able to get your money back. You can invest up to $60. And on top of that, you can actually fight the banker. However, it's only until day three that you can. And when you do, you'll get up to $150 back, depending on the type of gear you're wearing at the time. But that's the least of our importance. What's more important is us to turning in that kindergarten uh, quest, which... We found all six kindergartners from Hide and Seek, which I found one in part one and the rest of them in part... No, it's one in part two, sorry, and the rest of them in part three. So, let's go on ahead and talk to Fillmore, and we'll be getting six friend requests from this quest. You found all of us. You win. And with this quest done, that means we had six friends added to the already three more we got in part three so we have a total of 28 and also a new perk not to mention some experience points and some money for the record whether you do quest or whether you do random encounters you're going to level up to max eventually this game will not end until you do also I'm going to get the Marksman perk because the Marksman perk will make all of my ranged weapons that much stronger and it will be fantastic considering all of the uh, ranged weapons that we'll be getting later on in the game. Also, we picked up a Chaos at, Key in part two. Apparently that key is well going to be used to unleash chaos. So let's go to the use store facility north. to unleash it. I mean, after all, it's Butters. I mean, sorry, Professor Chaos. What's the worst that could possibly happen? I mean, he doomed us all, but hey, it's not the first time, and it's certainly not the last. I mean, come on, it's Butters. He's too nice to be a villain, but he is practically one of the main villains, or main antagonists, sorry, of South Park Fractured Butthole, or at least I hope he is. I really hope he's one of the main antagonists, because after all, he's playing as Professor Chaos. And that is freaking hilarious. Now then, in the youth stored facility, you just shoot down the ladder, climb up the ladder, and then climb down, and also come into the office building to open up the gate so you won't have to ever do that again unless you run into some pesky enemies, which, by the way, when it comes down to it, you're going to have to eventually fight everything, because some quests will demand you do so. Oh, and by the way, the Kindergartners is not going to be the first time you get a large amount of friends. Later on in uh, day two, that will happen. But for now... <laughs> you have uh oh, the I think we've and just triggered the alarm. In 10 10, 9, and eight, Doomsday is about seven, to happen. Six, five, oh, sorry about four, that, guys. I just screwed the world up. Or so I thought. And now all these lights and anyway, are use this your is and Professor Chaos's lair, which for some reason butters have a new story and his parents are too much jerks to give him an allowance. But anyway, 
Talk to Colonel Disarray, and you will get a uh, friend request from him. Or, no, General Disarray, sorry. Got my ranks wrong here. And also, Professor Chaos is trying to find well, out who Mysterion the is. Cool air, the super evil, super cool, super genius. Ironically enough, it's Kenny. But anyway, let's pick up uh, the Chin Pokemon here in the you store it, and also the treasure chest that's here, which is yet another strap on. About the strap on. And the equipment patches. Oh god damn it, get back down there. The strap-ons are for the weapons that you acquire throughout the game that has slots. There's some weapons that have two, some that have one. Each weapon uh strap-on you put on will make your weapon stronger or add an ability to it. Same thing for equipment patches. It would give you certain abilities or certain buffs at the start of each battles. So, it would be in your best interest if you find them and you have the level for them, because most of the strap-ons have a level, it would be in your best interest to equip them on. Now then, time to start with Tweak. Welcome to Tweak Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Uh, not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> Hello there. If you're looking for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended. Unattended. Like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? Now, in order to get two more friend requests, just buy the Speed Potion Ultra from the Tweak Bros that Coffee Shop, and you, you to be a of Tweak will have Mr. and Mrs. As Tweak a friend of Tweak, as a friend. You receive fresh homegrown emails. Also, we'll don't forget to get whatever family. it is in here. Sure, we could sell it to one of the big national which is primarily junk. We just care a little more. And the reason for that is junk sells for money. Now then, let's talk to Tweak and give him a uh, request. It's way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's a twenty house, like always. You, you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. <laughs> how am I? In case to anybody do all is this? wondering, There's how come here? South Park Stop is insane? Just about They're everyone just who me. comes Stop. to Tweak Brothers Coffee tends to drink coffee that is laced with meth. The secret ingredient to the Tweak Brothers coffee, I shit you not, is crystal meth. That would explain why everybody is insane lunatics. As a matter of fact, Tweaks are drinking the coffee right now. That is why Tweak is, is pretty much tweaking out. Oh, and by the way, the latest episode I did see uh, is of him and Craig being shipped by PC Principal. Oh boy, when Fractured Butthole comes in, I know he's going to be there. And speaking of someone that shouldn't be there, Towley, you suck. Plain and simple. He's just going to randomly appear. But for right now, let's talk to Scott and get some more weapons. Or should I say, some equipment patches and weapon strap-ons if I can afford them. Good choice. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get any of the stuff here because they're old. Oh, I am able to get them, but however, I'm not going to be able to equip them. You see, you could buy all the weapons, but you gotta wait till you're the right level to equip them. Excuse me. By level 14, you'll be able to equip everything in the game. But now that I have these uh, weapon strap-ons, it is best to put them to good use, and that is what I'm going to do. Not only will I uh, put the flame strap on on the billy club, but also the lightning strap on to the darts. Now, we are going to go over to Kenny's house, which is not too far from here. As a matter of fact, wait, wait, it's this way. It's this way, you idiot. Anyway, 
As a matter of fact, before we go, there's one last thing we need to do. Also, we try to talk to Kyle's dad, but I forgot to do that. Just destroy the snowman here, and Francis will be a friend. Oh, there's a Shin Pokemon there. I'll get it before uh, the game is over with. I promise you that. Now, let's talk to Kitty's mom. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. I told you to go see the nice people renting the room behind the garage. The only reason that cutscene happened is because of the fact that I thought I could jump the gun and be friends with uh, Kenny's mom and Kenny's sister. But unfortunately, I have to complete the delivery for Tweak first. And speaking of why I'm on the map, um... There is something I needed to show you all. You know, the mayor asked me to eliminate five... Or I, think it, I think it was six, was it? Yeah, six hobo camps. And unfortunately, the hobo camps are not on the map. As a matter of fact, there are three in South Park. No, wait, there's actually five hobo camps. My bad. There are three in South Park and there are two in the sewers. We won't be able to get the remaining two until, uh, day two. But for now, we can only focus on the, rem on the three that we can get right now. One of which is in Kenny's backyard. So, let's go over to the area. Also, this area is where we find the rabbit dog. Oh, God damn it! he struck first. Now, these bums can be really dangerous. First off, if you do not block half a nip, you're getting blood damage. Secondly, uh, what I do? Some of the bums will drink alcohol, and um, you should be they will give themselves attack boost. Not to mention, heal some of the damage they took. But if anything, be careful of curb stomp. That's not nice. It is really, really hard to block. Not to mention, uh. Curb Stomp will lower your abilities if you're not careful. So, you're just gonna have to use, hey. um, electric weapon, well, lightning weapon, sorry, like Byrus's, uh, Hammer of the Storms, which will do some really good damage to him. Buy the hammer of letters. Or you can oh, just do well, the, sorry. uh, Righteous hammer, I mean hammer of justice, I guess. No, 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 no. But primarily using Butters' electric attack to actually hurt the bum is a good idea yeah. since they're weak to it. Otherwise, you get your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. Uh, one bum can be pretty darn tough if you're not careful. God forbid if you run into a whole slew of them, of which you will. Now, in order for it to attack the rabbit dog, which we'll probably do by the end of the next part, you have to place a sausage there. Oh, and there's Scuzzlebutt, in case you're wondering. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You got the envelope? Uh. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Now, what we just saw with that hobo outside is pretty much the gist of the uh, Tweaker's are you fight. Rape us? Except there's three of them. Which in this case, since we're going to be dealing with them, and all of them will use Liquid Courage by the way, God all day, I man. might as well nip that in the bud and show off the summon Mr. Ooh, Slave. This could be kind of fun. Prepare to be Lemmywinks, uh, friend. Uh, uh, ah, yes. Uh, he friend. suffered the same fate as Ooh, Paris right. Hilton. And, as I said, uh, oh boy, once oh a summon boy. is brought on to a battle, that pretty much ends the battle, which is why they will not do boss good. fights. Because that would be completely unfair to the game. Or it would break the game, one of the two. Now then, <clears throat> there are two things we need to do here. Get Tweaks' uh, special blend. And also, the other thing we need to do 
is to uh, put the Mad Bear Pig sensor on the electric pole. Not to mention, we have to uh, talk to Kenny's mother and Kenny's sister to get friendship requests because we defeated the Tweakers. Yeah, that's a lot of things. And past me may be foolish enough to pass that up. Oh, by the way, wife beater. I'm not sure what that is for, but you cannot put equipment patches on it. And why am I doing this? You idiots, go back in. You're supposed to put a man bear pick sensor up there. <clears throat> this will be the second man bear pick sensor I put up there anyway. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You need uh, bow and arrows. There we go. And let's get what's ever in here. And that is uh, Kenny's Bloody Club. And now that we've also put the Man Bear Pig sensor in, I think we should pick up Tweak's uh, package before we leave. And idiot, you're missing the package! Ah, uh, damn it. What are you doing? All oh, right, I'm going inside to... Uh, get friendship requests from Kitty's sister, which is, uh, I forgot her name. Oh, Karen, that's the name of her, that's the name of his sister, or should I say her sister, since he's basically a girl this time around. It's kind of weird, don't know why, but it is. And I do believe you do get a pair of underwear from here, right? I'm, I'm not sure. But there is Kenny's Mysterion outfit and many of the other things that was in his closet. Like his bike. Huh, and there's a WWE poster. Now, talk Sorry to his to mother and renters. she Usually will give you a friend fun request. And energetic. You can't go out the back door. So, yeah. <clears throat> With everything we've done so far, I know I'm. I know that past me is forgetting about the tweak, uh, coffee. It will dawn on me that I forgot about it. But also, there is one last thing I am going to do in this part before I remember to get the coffee, and or at least the ingredients for the coffee, and that is the. Uh, cow. Also, not to mention the hobo camp that's right in the U stored van. Might as well get that out the way, too. Oh, and also the last man bear pig sensor. Move, move, butters. Here's the farm cow. You think it's an elaborate battle, right? Nope. One hit, dead. No, oh, go back in. Mad Bear Pig Sensor. Mad Bear Pig Sensor, you idiot. Oh, right, never mind. I forgot. You storage. And here is a hobo That's camp. Nice. Now, this one's a little different because this hobo camp has oh, mice! Is. Or rats. Uh, yeah, rabbit rats. However, um,. The rabbit rats are easy. They're not going to respawn, so, uh... You're just going to have to, uh, worry about the drunken hobo. Ooh. I can't believe I missed the, uh, reaction command again. Feel that ratchet kind of, uh, messed up that I did that. That's not nice. But butters! Jesus Christ, dude! Yeah. Uh. Hey, I'm lucky! You yeah, just gotta be careful when it comes down to butters. Ah. Uh. Hey. Or uh, I'm not, uh, not when it comes down to the butters. I mean, when it comes down to the bum, I'm sorry. Oh, you gotta be careful when it comes down to the bum. Uh, he will, like the other bum, use um curb stomp. And I do believe there's a chest in here too. 
And uh, it's nothing but junk. But sellable junk. Now then, I do believe there's a man bear pig sensor that needs to be put up. But looks like I'm gonna have to deal with that later. <clears throat> huh. Because we are right next to the Tweak Brothers coffee shop anyway. However, past me completely forgot about the special uh package that Tweak needs. Look. By the way, it just dawned on me that we're running drugs for more a bunch coffee. of tweakers. Need more coffee! More coffee! Need more coffee! Oh, <sighs> see you guys when we actually get the package. Coffee. Need more, co more coffee! Just need give more me a coffee. second to transition <sighs> right about now. And here's the package. I forgot to get it. Stupid me. Now when we go back, we'll actually be able to complete the quest. Sorry. Now then, let's head back over to Tweak's restaurant. I mean, Tweak Brothers Coffee. Sorry. And notice, hey, kid. Mr. Tweak's not there. Now let's go and talk to Tweak. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm, yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded, like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend, made with ingredients from local Tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. I had completely, totally forgot that I already have the Man Bear Pick sensor from the farm, so yeah, the only other thing I needed was the one over by Kenny's house. Nonetheless, I have a perk because I got 35 friends, and I can also get all of the items that was in that chest that Tweak had a key for. So yeah, now that I have the uh, Man Bear Pig sensors completed, now I need to find Al Gore, which he's right down the street, and um, turn in the quest to start part two of that quest, which unfortunately will have to be done in day two. So let's go ahead and talk to Al Gore. Good job, Junior Algorian. With all the sensors in place, I can get a reading on my... <gasps> I knew it! These are definitely hot man bear pig readings. Come with me. I must put this data in the data man bear pig base. Now we have to go and visit Al Gore in his secret laboratory in the you store it. <laughs> what is up with people having secret bases in you store it? First Butters and now Al Gore. Uh, if only you store it knew this shit was going on. They probably do, but they just don't care. Uh-huh. Hmm. This is very interesting. The sensors have picked up Man Bear Pig underneath the ground of South Park. If you know anywhere you can get underground, go there at once and run this defibrillator. And now we have a Man Bear Pig defibrillator, which, again, we'll have to deal with in Day 2. Meaning now, all we need to do is claim our reward for slaughtering the farm cow. I find it rather hilarious that we actually had to kill a farm cow. But whatever the case, I do believe Jimbo is... Uh, hold on, wait a minute. I don't have a... Crap, I don't have a transport... Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. So let's go over to Jimbo's house from this. God damn it, get back in there. And... There we go. Now then, once we turn in this, uh, hunt, we'll end up getting ourselves a, uh, patch. Or, uh, no, wait, wait, it's an equipment patch. So, uh, yeah. And also, we'll be able to have access to more weapons as well. What can I do for you, new kid? This one's real personal for me and Ned. 
Well, we lost half our unit to a farm cow when we were stationed in Hanoi. Far as we're concerned, you're a damn hero, kid. We're both proud to know you. I have no words. I can't wait to see what you kill next. And I wasn't kidding about having access to all weapons. Well, most of the weapons that are there. They do have the Sweet Katana, which is the most powerful weapon in the game, and the Crossbow of Conquest, which is the most powerful long-range weapon in the game. Whatever the case, you might want to save your money for that. And you'll probably get it by the end of uh, the game. So, with that said, I'll see you guys next time as I gun for my third summoning at the City Walk. This is RVMan985, see you guys in part 5.